Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, and all I gotta say is I am so happy that roster sharing is now in the game. I was never really hounding for it and, you know, just saying that it would be the best thing in the world, but I am very happy that it is in the game because now I get the most up-to-date rosters before EA Sports gets to it. So we have a bunch of moves that have been going on. The NHL has been absolutely crazy recently with signings trades, all of the above, and I am here for it. For this challenge today, we're going to be using the Ottawa Senators, who have been making some money moves. They picked up ADB, they got Claude Giroux now, and I'm excited to see how they play next season, to be honest. So let's go ahead and select them, continue on here, and obviously I got some settings that I got to adjust here. I don't want you editing my lines, you jabroni. As you can probably tell by the title, and if not, you didn't even read it, you just clicked on the video, and honestly... <laughs> That's elite. That's that's huge from you. So thank you if you actually did that. And if not, then you know what we're doing here. Every time our team lets in more than four goals, I have to trade our starting goaltender. Obviously excluding preseason. Oh, and it doesn't matter. Who cares about preseason? Wow, we get a plus five on the first line. That is sick. Let's go, Senators. We got Jimmy Superstar here as well. Brandstrom. That simply will not stand. I will do something about that. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay. Okay, so these custom rosters are pretty interesting, I gotta say. Jake Sanderson's got an X-Factor, a bunch of abilities. This is wow. The sim will be new, that's for sure. You know what? I'm gonna make this like a Brent Burns situation where I'm just gonna fully change up the position. Brantstrom, you are now a forward. For some reason, I was just totally under the impression that the custom roster was just moved players, but there is a lot more to it than that. We got a bunch of ability and X-Factors added here which really threw me off, but I'm assuming it's going to be balanced around the league, so I'm not too upset about it. And goalies, we have Cam Talbot and Anton Forsberg. I actually am going to turn off goaltender rotations, or automatic goaltender rotations, because I want to know who's starting. That way, when they let in five goals or more, we know who we're trading. Auto-rotate goalies, no. No thank you. By the way, I'm still struggling today with my English. I have no idea what's going on, but I... Really got to give my head a shake and find out what's going on because I just cannot speak. And there's going to be a lot of editing required. So, all right. Let's sim past the first game here of the Toronto Maple Leafs. That was close. That was close. A 4-1 L to the Leafs and a 3-2 W. Okay, so we don't have to trade our goalie yet. That was close as well. Four goals allowed there. San Jose Sharks are up next. And we... There we go. Okay, that's a big one. Ned is on the block. He's making 3 mil, which is 600k less than Talbot. He is going to be an overall drop-off by 3. But we are going to try to get a second round pick back as well, which we might be able to use for a future goalie trade. So let's try and propose that. It will go through. So let's proceed. All right, Alex, let's see what you got. Imagine first game against the Rangers here just gets dusted. Oh man, I thought it was going to happen. Washington Capitals, here we go. 3-1-L. It was not five or more goals, so we're still safe. Dallas Stars are up next, and we take a big win against them. They would have to trade their goalie, you know what I mean? But they're not going to do that. 4-2-L against Chicago, and a 6-3-L against the Minnesota Wild. See you later, Alex. I wonder if I can use, like, the player's search. Am I able to do that? Or browse trading block? Is that a good way to do it? Is there a way to just search by goalies that are on the block? Really? They lost to Delskovich, and they're just like, yeah, let's put Vili Husso up there as well. Well, let's try to get him, I suppose. Why not? I don't know why I find this so funny, but I just feel like there's going to be no recollection from the Detroit Red Wings that they genuinely just traded us Alex here. And we're going to try to trade them back for a worse second round pick. And Vili Husso is actually 84 overall, so he's one overall better than Ned. And he has an ability. Will this even go through, though? It will. Let's do it. It's your time to shine, Vili. Let's see what you got. The good thing about having Anton Forsberg at 83 overall as our backup is that if I... Are you kidding me? They put Ned back on the block. That is ridiculous, man. But I'm not gonna... I won't do that again. There would have been a cap situation if I just tried to get Mike Smith, which I'm pretty sure he's not gonna be back on the Oilers. I think I saw someone confirm that they're gonna have some new goalies next year. But anyway, I'm gonna try to get Fogel as part of this deal as well. And we'll get rid of a third. Let's see if it will go through. 
Yes, it does. Oh, we actually get a plus one on our fourth line now. That is spectacular. And if we go to our goalies, we see that Mike Smith will now be the starter. So before I was rudely interrupted by the Golden Knights, I was saying, oh my word, that was so close, that it's good that we have Forsberg because he's 83 overall. That's not bad. So if we ever wanted to, we could trade for a young 80 overall goalie or something like that and just put in Forsberg. He could be our new starting goalie, technically. That one was close against the Pittsburgh Penguins. Oh my, we're losing games, but we're not losing them by much. See, that's another prime example of me saying something that I did not mean to say at all. I didn't mean to say we're not losing by much because, you know, it's two goals, three goals. What I meant to say is we're getting close to the five goal mark, basically. And that is not what I portrayed at all. But anyway, Nashville. 4-1-W. How will we do against the Rangers? It is going to be a 4-3 shootout win. We have Colorado up next year. 4-1-L. So this is probably one of the longest runs we've seen from a goalie so far. And this is going to be... Oh my word, that was so close. We're not doing so hot here though. 9-11-1. And, and we let in five goals. Even though we won, it doesn't matter. It's still five goals against. I need to get a new goalie. I have a feeling this one's not going to work. But I'm going to try using Detroit second. And we're going to get Merzlikens plus Voracek. That'd be good for our second line. We're just going to see if it works. Proposed trade and it is not even close apparently oh no it is quite close would you be more interested if i add a fifth as well oh they were all right i actually didn't expect that to work whatsoever if i do best lines they put voracek up here which i'm actually okay with because he's a playmaker so we will have two playmakers playing with adb and then down here now drake batherson will be a sniper on the second line with power forward two way forward i think that's gonna work quite well all right elvis hopefully you will have a long tenure here with the ottawa senators but let's find out just don't lose by five now i at least want one game out of you okay cool a four to two win we take that all day carolina Another W. Fire me up. How are we going to do against Colorado? 3 0 L, but he's safe. No! 5 2 L to the Islanders. We need to make another move. I feel like the third might be too much, but I'm going to try for it anyway. Varlamov is on the block here from the Islanders, who are 19 3 2. Hello? Where did that come from? Well, proposed trade, and it is accepted. I'm thinking about running with Forsberg soon, but. I don't know. I see that we got Roger on the trading block down there. Maybe that has to do with the outage. Tampa Bay's not exactly the first team you want for this challenge here with the new goalie, but let's see. 4-2. Managed to keep it within the limit. How about Florida? Can we do it for Florida? Nope. Not possible. The devastating thing is that we have Tampa Bay right after this trade again. Pretty much just for fun, I'm going to try to get Askarov and we'll run with Forsberg for the time being. Trade rejected, it's not there whatsoever. All right, I don't want to give up too much more, so never mind. We'll go with someone else. We're starting to run out of goalies on the block, but we still got Laurent. 81 overall, backup goaltender, trading for Varlamov here. Obviously not one for one. We're going to get a second back as well. Propose that trade. Okay. That is disrespectful. They said something about putting Varlamov on waivers. That makes no sense to me. So we're going to get Grubauer, who might be difficult to trade but he's on the block and so is Alexiak. So I'm going to try to make this work here for Varlamov. Hamannik, who will be replaced with Alexiak on defense there, of course. And then Fogel, who we picked up earlier. Will it go through? No, it will not. Just a bit low. All right. So that pretty much means I could add a sixth or a seventh pick and it should go through. The Islanders seventh. Boom. Again. No, this one should work. Propose that trade. Yeah. Done deal. From the Seattle Kraken. Alexiak and Shabak at a plus five, probably because of the X factors going on there. And Annette, we now have Forsberg. So I'm going to run with him and we'll keep Grubauer as the backup for the time being. We started at an 86 overall goalie and here we are. All right, we only let in two that time. So that's a success. The Flyers, a five to three win. We are on a bit of a roll here. Another win against the Boston Bruins. How will we do against the St. Louis Blues? 3-1-L, but we're still safe. Carolina, going to hand us... A 2-1 to one victory. We've been doing a really good job at keeping a low goals against here. We had 2-2 two, two, and 1. So it's pretty solid recently. Maybe going to Forsberg was the move. It was really close against the Leafs, but we still managed to keep it under 5. 3-1-L to the Wild, but we're still safe. The Seattle Kraken, who we just took Alexiak off of, they score 5 on us. Are you kidding me? There's no way this 1-for-1 one one goes through, is there? No. But what if I add in Kevin? 72 overall. He's got some... Oh, they'd have too many goalies. All right. Well, then. I can't do that. What if I had in good old Roger? Proposed trade. Trade rejected. 
Yeah, right. Look how low his trade value is. Johansson has slightly higher trade value, but I still don't think it's going to work. I'll add in a third. I just have to get rid of Grubauer, basically. It's going to be tough because that contract is surreal. Okay. These guys have Dustin Wolf. I mean, he's... You know, 72 overall, and he's going to have to be our new starting goalie, technically, because Grubauer wasn't our starting goalie anyway. It was Forsberg. But, yeah, let's try it out. Nope, still not going to happen. This looks like it should go through one for one. It just sucks that we're downgrading by one overall. Oh, well. Uh, maybe I'll try to bring a high draft pick back as well. I'll work my way down the chain. Will a fourth go through? No, it will not. Too far off. What about a fifth? Let's try that. Columbus is fifth. I propose that. Still no, not sufficient at all. If they don't take the seventh, then I will just go one for one, but they do take it. Okay, VTech, it is your time to control the crease. I'm starting to feel like I should have made it six or more goals because, oh no. I really want to get rid of this contract from Grubauer, so I'm going to do anything I can to just get a trade through here and still no I kind of have to make some sacrifices here especially because our cap keeps being annoying and it's saying we're going to be over the cap next year and this will not go through but I'll try it anyway They're sending us multiple okay so yeah they basically don't want both of these guys this probably still won't go through but it's worth a shot yeah okay I'm just gonna add a second the, the, <laughs> all bets are off at this point all right I just want to make some trades go through here and I want to get to the trade deadline please just accept it what if I had Gambrell 1.1 million another no still no I got a crazy one for you I'll deal with this problem later it's time for Grubauer I have not made him the starting goalie yet I don't think he's been the backup the entire time so he's gonna be the starter for now Vanacek will sit as the backup it's also getting kind of hot in here so I'm turning the fan on if you can hear it sorry not sorry well remember when I said we're gonna have to deal with the problem later Later is literally the next game. I've been avoiding it, but I'm gonna have to start trading players for goalies soon because we are running out of options and this is still a no-go. What if I try to make it a third from the Islanders instead? Will that go through? Yes, it will. Kincaid and Goudreau are now a part of the team. All right, Keith, can you please just last five or more games? That's all I ask. I feel like that's reasonable. Game number one against the Calgary Flames. Nice, a shutout. And we lose 5-2 to the Jets the next game. All right, that's it. I'm getting a good goalie. I'm trading one of our star players. I don't, I, I'm done, I'm done. I'll be trading Sanderson and Sogard in exchange for Ottinger, essentially. Propose the trade. I feel like maybe I'm gonna work my way down. Let's start off with a third. And if that doesn't go through, we'll make it a fourth and so on. A no-brainer? Well, now I feel dumb. Jake, man, please, can you last a... Just a few games. First game, Buffalo Sabres. Nice, a three to two win. Pity Pens are up next. Oh, that scared me. 4-1-W. Got the Washington Capitals. Let's go, Jake. Guy's on fire. 4-2-L to Columbus, but we're still safe. Close call there against the Ducks, but we get a shutout against the Oilers. I'm not gonna have to make a trade up till this game, no matter what happens here anyway. And we only let in three. Actually, I was incorrect. I did not see this one. So it would have been this game. The trade deadline is in sight. We're so close. Tampa Bay, four to three win. We got Florida now. Another tough challenge for Jake Ottinger. And he manages to keep it to three. Let's go. And we finally take a 5-2 L to the Golden Knights, which means Ottinger has to go. What a good run. Voracek is causing us some cap problems, so I'm gonna try to get Saros, which is gonna be tricky here. And a second back. Let's see if they even give consideration to this. No. What about just Voracek and Ottinger for Saros? Will that go through? No. If I add in a third? Still no. John Gibson could be our next goalie. It kind of looks like this trade's in favor of us, but I think it's too good to be true. I'll try to add a draft pick, but I just simply do not foresee this working. Why do I feel like this is going to be a... Oh, wow, I can't believe you sent us this. You're an idiot. But let's try it anyway. I added a fourth and two fifths, and we're getting Grant and Gibson back. Proposed... Tr mm. Ah, whatever. Can't. Okay, it's just a done deal. Jimmy Superstar has been promoted to the second line. And once again, our defense is probably gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna make that move and move Zub over there. We have Johnny. Johnny Hockey in net. Or no, he's not in net. What am I doing? Why can't I speak? I don't know what's going on. But in my videos recently, I just... I've said it several times. And you guys might not believe me, like I said. Because some of it gets... Most of it gets edited out. I genuinely... I'm struggling. But anyways, actually in net is going to be John Gibson. 28 years of age, 85 overall, very solid. Now the real question is, will Gibby be able to get us to the trade deadline or not? St. Louis Blues will be his first matchup. 
Okay, we got a 3-2 win. Seattle Kraken. The next, a shutout. Fire me up. Gibson is slaying it right now. It looks like we might have our goalie to finish the year. Because there's only two more games. Philadelphia Flyers is going to be... Are you serious? This actually looks close in value one for one. The only off-putting piece is that neither of them are meeting block requirements. But let's try it anyway. Proposed trade. Flurry for Gibson. Okay. Wow. Listen up, Marcus Andre. You have to win one game. I mean, you, no, you don't have to win it. You just have to let in four or less goals. And you are going to be on the Ottawa Senators for the rest of the year. That is amazing sounding for me because I'm sick and tired of making these trades. Will the Montreal Canadiens do us dirty and make us trade our goalie at the deadline or not? Nice, a win. So I do not have to get rid of Marc-Andre Fleury. He is our goalie for the rest of the year now. I don't even want to make moves. I'm just happy with what we have and every trade I try to make, it seems like we're going to be over the cap for the next year. So I'm just done with it. But this is what it looks like. The trade block that is a trade deadline players on the, th I don't know anymore. Audrey got traded to Detroit in exchange for a first and Ned. He is on the move again. All right, is that the only big trade? No, Ryan Ellis, a third and a fourth headed to Detroit in exchange for a first and Rasmussen. We can finally sim the rest of the year with Marc-Andre Fleury and Ned. We have 35 wins after the deadline. We're actually looking pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. We are in a playoff spot. There's one game we would have had to have made a goalie change. Two now, Detroit. Got five as well. Montreal and Detroit both would have made us change goalies, but good thing we are past the trade deadline and we are a playoff team. No? You just had to lose the last three games of the year. You had to do it. So with 45 wins and 93 points, we get deleted in the row by the Florida Panthers. And we are not in a wild card spot, apparently. I'm curious to see where we placed in the league. There's no way it's top 16 teams that made it then. So let's scroll down here real quick. No. It is really the 21st place, 84 point getting LA Kings make it in. That hurts. Colorado won the Presidents with 114 points. I mean, it's not a draft, so we know what their team looks like. ADB put up 73 points for us and was a dash one. Giroux had 66. Chucky put up 58. Jimmy Superstar, 56. Norris, 53. 52 from Shabbat. That's really good for a defenseman. Scroll down here. Brandstrom and Watson, dash 17 apiece. Don't like to see that. How about our goaltenders? Flurry, 33 wins. He had a 907 to 87. And Kincaid had a 918 to 43. Didn't play a lot of games though. Is there going to be some goalies that, nope, no goalies played 82 games, but we got 71 from Freddie and 41 wins. Maybe it does still rotate AI goalies, but just not our teams. I'm not sure. A 920 from Kemper. That is the goalie stats for the year. Hedman led defenseman with 72 points. Great number. Carlson got 71. McCarr with 68. This is the defensive leaderboards for the year. Leaderboards. I mean, I guess technically it is a video game. But that, anyway. But also, leaderboard still kind of makes sense because it is the leaderboard, you know? It's the, the board of leaders. So, I'm going to stick to it and say that, yes, that works. McDavid, 103 points, the only player to break the hundo. He had 49 goals, and we have 60 from Ovechkin down here. That is spectacular. Dreisaitl had the second most points with 96. All right, an hour and 10 minutes later, and we finally get to sim the playoffs. Let's see who wins the Stanley Cup. And it turns out to be the New York Rangers. The Iowa Wild win the Calder Cup. Let's go have a look at the awards, the playoff tree. And then we can get out of here. The only trophy we don't know here is the Clarence S. Campbell, which is the Winnipeg Jets. I'm not even going to announce the players here. I'm just going to kind of go through it quick and see. Oh yeah, new hook. Let's go. That is pretty fire. And you love to see Chris Kreider winning some stuff as well. Mostly Cam Talbot, really. That's who we started with. And he ended up getting the Vesna for the Detroit Red Wings. Just twist the knife a little bit more. Why don't you? And a sweep in the Stanley Cup Finals. Why? Why does this happen? Is that the only sweep in the... No, Colorado swept Minnesota in round one. But other than that, that is the second sweep in the playoffs, and it was the finals. Well, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So I will see you soon.